What is up guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to mine Ravencoin using a standard gaming PC. Um, so I'm going to be taking you through all the steps, uh, so let's get into this. The first thing you're going to need is a wallet address to mine to. I'm going to be using X today, um, simply because it's what I use and I have it installed, uh, but you can use whatever wallet you want. The important thing that we're going to need for this tutorial is you're going to need to have a uh, address which you can receive the Ethereum that you mine. So if you want to go ahead and use Exodus as your wallet of choice, I will leave a link below to all of the web pages we use in this video. Um, but yeah, today I will be using Exodus, which I already have set up here with my, uh, with my account. So, if you've got your wallet set up, next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a file which is going to contain the mining software. Now, the reason we have to make a file is because we have to tell the Windows uh, malware and virus protection that this file is safe because otherwise it will be flagged as malware. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new file folder and we can call this whatever we want because we are using NB Miner as our miner of choice in this video. I'm going to call it NB Miner. Next steps is you're going to go to start and you're going to type in virus and threat protection and up here you will see virus and threat protection and it will bring up the virus and threat protection uh, in the settings. You can also navigate to settings, Windows security, virus and threat protection. We're going to go down here to where it says virus and threat protection settings and click manage settings. And then we're going to continue to scroll down and we're going to add a exclusion. Here you can see we've got a bunch of different exclusions that I've made previously, uh, which I can just go ahead and remove. So we're starting afresh for you all. Uh, actually, I'll keep that one because I am still using a model. So we're going to click on the add an exclusion and we're going to click folder because we're looking for a folder exclusion. And we're going to make sure we select the folder we created earlier, which I named NB Minder. But as I said, you could have named it whatever you want. It does not matter. Select folder and you will see it will show up as an exclusion, which means anything we put in here, it will not flag as malware or a virus. So we can go ahead and close that up. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to download the miner of choice and the miner that I'm going to be using for this tutorial today is the NB miner simply because it's what I've used, it's what I'm comfortable with and I feel like it's a really easy miner. So we're going to go ahead and download the NB miner uh, zip file. Uh, in this case the latest one for me is th version 38.2. Again links are down below. You will see that will begin to download. You'll see that it's actually gone ahead and blocked it, uh, which can happen. All you've got to do is go into your downloads, your Chrome downloads, which we showed, and it will say this file is dangerous, so Chrome has blocked it. We can either remove it or we can keep the dangerous file. We're going to click keep dangerous file, keep anyway. Do not worry. This is software used by millions and millions of people. Uh, oh, failed. Okay. So what we're actually going to do is with some late ver latest versions of Chrome uh, and also Windows, it will flag that up. So we're just going to go back to virus and threat protection and we're going to turn, I'll go to virus threat protection, manage settings and we're going to turn off real time protection. Yes. Now, if we go back and try and download the zip file, Chrome will try and block it. But once we press keep dangerous file, you see that it will, in fact, download. Depending on your version, you might have to go back and turn that off. Um, it just depends what version you're running. So we're now going to open up our file explorer, go to downloads. And we're going to see here that we have the good old miner. We're going to right click that. We're going to press extract all. And we're not going to extract it here. We're going to press browse and we're going to find the NB miner folder we set up earlier and we're going to click select folder and extract. Boom. So now you see that our NB miner folder has extracted and it's got stuff inside of it. Now, just so I don't forget, I'm going to go back into the virus and the threat protection settings and turn back on real time protection because for certain things it can be quite handy. Uh, but for this tutorial, you may or may have to turn, may or may not have to turn it off depending on what version you're running. 
um, but you can just go ahead and turn it off anyway if you want to be safe but I would recommend turning it back on so if we go we'll click on this folder now you will see that inside we have MB minor win so we have a bunch of bat files and we're going to basically ignore all of these you can pretty much ignore these don't mess with them if you see underneath here we have a bunch of starts then the name of the currency and then dot bat which is a bat file and these batch files are what allow us to mine so we are going to go ahead and select this start underscore rvn dot batch that's because the rvn stands for ravencoin and that is what we are attempting to mine so we are going to go ahead and click on it and then once we've selected it we're going to right click and press edit now if you're on windows you will have to press more info and then run anyway because it will say that it's trying to protect it again all it is is a text file and it will open it up in notepad or your choice so here we have a bit of information that might be confusing but don't worry i will go ahead and clear this up for you first of all we have mb minor that's just the name of the minor we then have the a core power that's basically saying the algorithm that we're using is core Corpow or Kapow, depending on what you say, and that is the algorithm used to mine Ravencoin. We then have the O, and this is the pool that we are mining to. So this is currently set to uh, stratum, basically ravenpool.bpool.org. Now we are going to go ahead and change that because what I prefer to use is a pool called Ethermine. Uh, it's what I've used since the very beginning, and it's what I love to use. Again, linked down below to this web page. At the top here, we're going to make sure we select Raven. And if we scroll down, uh, it gives us a bunch of information uh, as well as what happens. Uh, well, these are just people that have recently block mined a block at the top right here where it says start mining. If we click on that, it will give us all the information we need. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the server, which is straight from and we're going to copy that and we are going to replace it with this stratum.org in here. Boom. So it now says stratum slash ravencoin dot dot org. Now see so we have a stratum port. We want to change that to the stratum port, which is being uh, suggested over here. Uh, again, three, 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 three is the port used here. So again, we're going to copy that and replace the port that is given here. And that's as easy as that. So that is the pool setup nicely done uh, now you see that we have the dash u and this is your address so currently we'll have a default address in there we are going to want to have to change that to our address so we're going to head into exodus or your wallet of choice and click on the receive button and that will show up our ravencoin address if we simply copy that we are going to replace it with the address they've given here so after you before the period and paste that in and you'll see our address now shows up there. Now this dot default, you could go ahead and delete it, but this is simply adding a name to the device that you're mining on. Uh, just in case you're running multiple devices, you can or they well they all show up under their different name. So you can get rid of it and it won't be there, or you can add a period and then type in whatever. You can type in gaming PC. I'm going to go ahead and just name it 2070 because that is the graphics card that I am using. Uh, to mine on. So once this is all saved, you're going to press file and save. Make sure to save the file. We can now exit out. Now, in order to actually run our mining software, all we have to do is double click. So we're no longer clicking and then editing. We're just going to double click it. And you will see a command file will open up and it will start mining. That's it. You can just go ahead and leave it now. Um, make sure you do not close the command you want to keep that open and that way it will continuously start to run and mine so we can just go ahead and minimize that and we're going to head back over to ethermine next to where we press start mine there's a pop a box to go ahead and paste your mining address if you go ahead and paste it in there and press search it will bring up sort of like your dashboard so i've gone ahead and started this because this way you constantly can come back and check and this is where it shows us all the information currently says there are no workers active uh, that is simply because it takes a bit of time for the pool to recognize the miner 
you've got your immature balance, your unpaid balance, the estimated earnings, your current hash rate, your average hash rate. This is basically all of the stats on how to mine or what your card is currently doing. This is your dashboard. You can also go to the payouts option. This will show you when you've paid out and how much. You can also then go to settings where you can change the payment threshold. Um, so how much you want it to mine before it will pay it off. So in my case, once it hits 50, uh, 50 Raven, sorry, in the unpaid balance, it will go ahead and automatically send it over to my Raven coin address. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you in the next one.